Well, now, that was a wonderfully romantic film. No, you hated it. No, I didn't hate it. It just it didn't have any, you know, car chases or fight sequences. But that's good. That's refreshing. Where's your sense of romance? I lost it about the same time I ran out of popcorn. Oh, come on. <laughs> you know, I predict that one day you're going to love these sentimental films just as much as I do. Ah, uh, maybe. I have patience. It's one of my virtues. Yeah, see, Reva never had patience, so that's something I'm still uh, adjusting. Let me see that one. Too. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. No, it's okay. I'm... It's okay. You know something? I, I know that you have a past with Reva. You know, that reminds me, I have to uh, call the kids. Could you uh, order us something to drink? Mm hmm Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, you. Hi. How did you get back? And why didn't you call me? I'm so, I've been so busy, I haven't mm. had the ch I'm sorry. <laughs> How are you? How oh, am I? Oh, boy, is that a loaded question. Let me tell you. Well, let's see. Rick knows that I tried to break up Danny and Michelle. Danny has accused me of murdering his mother by lethal injection. And to top it all off, Danny and Michelle are closer than ever. Let's see, did I leave anything out? I certainly hope not. What happened? Abigail Bauer, that's what happened. Oh. We've met. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, she gives me the old evil eye whenever she gets a chance. She's teamed up with Danny to try to turn Michelle against me. And I can't let that happen. I just can't. So, what are you going to do about it? I'm going to take Abigail out of the equation. You should just put it on hold. I'm saying perhaps you're trying a little bit too hard to write romance novels and then... Oh, this could be my chance. Josh. Yes, excuse me. I have something to say to him. Wish me luck. Good luck. Thank you. Hello, Josh. Hi. Do you have a minute? Uh, yeah, but can I borrow your cell phone? Uh, mine's not working. Yeah, of course. Thank but uh, before you use it, I have, I have something to say to you, and I've given this a great deal of thought. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to find yourself another attorney. What are you talking about? Well, me handling this divorce, it, it just feels wrong to me. I don't want to see a couple that I've known forever fighting over property rights and visitation rights and then getting into separate cars and going their own way. I just don't want to see that. If you can call me about any other legal help that you need, but don't ask me to handle this divorce. <laughs> I can't write. I just can't write. Josh, it's been my experience that the couples who want to do their own divorce are doing it as a prelude to getting back together. Or they have an axe to grind which rapidly escalates into World War III. Well, it's not going to be World War III. I doubt there'll even be a, a, a skirmish. It, it, and we have no intention of getting back together, so. That's too bad. If there was a chance of that, I'd be urging you to go for it. Okay, I have to admit, I was a little nervous about being away for so long. You know, I kept thinking about Reva and how I'd given her this wonderful opportunity to just weasel her way back into Josh's life. Did she use it? No, the divorce is going through without a hitch. And get this, she has a new man in her life. Who has my condolences, by the way. <laughs> you really hate her, don't you? No, I, I, I wouldn't use the word hate. Well, you'd like her to disappear, perhaps. Okay, if Reva was on fire, I wouldn't give her a glass of water, but I'm not going to be the one who strikes the first match. But you'd be willing to throw a little kindling in, wouldn't you? It's okay, Olivia. A little well-placed hatred is good for the soul. Believe me. I think it's all that keeps me going sometimes. You know, Claire, uh, hatred can consume you. I can eat you up inside, I know, I've been there, and it doesn't necessarily get you what you want. I know, I'm, I know you're right, I just... I am so angry at this situation, that's all. Okay, so you're angry, so, so what are you gonna do about it? What do you, what do you want? Well, what does your ideal life look like? My ideal life? Yeah, your ideal life. I mean, if I can have anything I want? If you could have anything you want. I don't know, I guess it certainly would revolve entirely around Michelle. She'd dump Danny, and or he'd get finally nabbed by the feds and sent up the river. Oh. 
<sighs> yes, we would enroll enroll Michelle in medical school, definitely, which is where she belongs, and um, maybe find her a nice doctor to marry. As for Abby, we would definitely send her off on the next bus to D.C., maybe get lost in the Washington Monument. You know, that would be pretty perfect. My life has been anything but perfect, that's for sure. Okay, so I can turn around. It can. I mean, look at me. I, I met Josh at the lowest point in my life. Love, that's, that's for other women. Yeah, I know about that. So you just have to figure out what it is you want, Claire, and believe you're going to get it. I know what I want. I think you do. And I will get what I want one day. I know I will. I don't want to leave anything to chance. Well, you don't have to go. Well, <laughs> Mr. Loverboy has been eyeballing us. I think it's time that I leave. Take okay. care. Bye. You know what, Ross? I appreciate the advice. I do. But, but you're uh, not going to take it. I, I just think Reva and I are going to be fine. We, we've dealt with a lot of things in the past, and I think we can handle divorce papers. So, so I have to get back to Olivia. Yeah. You say how to Blake for me, okay? I will. Thanks. <sighs> what is it? Trouble? No, 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 not, not trouble. I, uh... I'm just glad that you're feeling so comfortable about my relationship with Reba right now. Why? Well, because it looks like we're going to be spending a whole lot more time together. <sighs> and I have been getting along okay recently, so uh, we can work out a divorce on our own. On your own? Yeah. Well, well Ross is out. He doesn't want to represent us. Okay, fine. So let him have refer you to some associate of his, or just somebody who'll keep the ball rolling. It'll just take a few meetings for Reva and I to work out the details. Josh, there are business assets attached to this. It's going to be much more complicated. You know, a lawyer could could walk you through the necessary steps. I I, I just want to try it this way. Okay. I believe Reva and I can work it out. Hi, this is. No, I, you're exactly the person I'm looking for. I need a good attorney, and I hear you're the toughest there is. <laughs>